ba 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 complicated because my fingers are moving a lot but if we just move on to this hand right here which is my right hand then you can know that all these are all of the notes hard on this hand and then this hand is just and then if we play both hands together start with the first part which is we do C and G on this hand and on this hand we do C D E F and we do C in line with C then D alone and then G with E like so then F up to G again to E down to F and E together no and C together When we play that all together, it sounds like this. I'm gonna do it slow. Like so. And that's the first part. So now we're gonna move on to the second line, which is pretty much the same thing, except that after we do the C, G, E, G, and up on the left hand, we do this. you just go up and push it back like that so what it'll sound like for the second line is and then this is where it gets a little bit tricky we go so and then it's quite simple and sounds very pretty we go C in line Go alongside up. Hold, then E G. So E D G. Then here is where it gets quite hard. Then you go F G G with paired with F and F E paired with G D and then C D E D C. Perfect. Now we're gonna play it all together slowly. So here we go. Oops. Now we're going to play it very slowly all together. Now it 
trick to do for the part where you go. A trick for that part. A trick for doing a trick for this part. A trick for that is you're going up, up, up. You're going up with C and then you hit G together and you're like, oh no, we're going back down. And then up again. And all of that. On to the next song. The next song that you're that we're going to be learning together is a song that I've actually used in quite a few of my videos. It is called The Birch Canoe. The Birch Canoe is a very fun song, but it has a little bit of a mellow tone. So here is me playing it and then we're gonna go through it together. completely simple. The left hand. My left hand here is all we do is hold two, three, four, another hold two, three, four, and we're going to up onto our um, G flat. Back to normal. Hold four notes and four notes. And back to done this hand is where it gets a little bit complicated so we are going to go onto our e um e uh one of our sharps our e sharp uh, the <laughs> anyway so you go c three times this is where you go onto your sharp one two three up me to know um, what I'm playing is because the E you can see the little sort of thing that looks like a B kind of that signifies that it is a flat or a um, uh, thingy <laughs> I forgot. Oh, but and that really helped me with doing my D's and like skipping the note because you can kind of see it so we go I like to have my finger always here so we go one two three up up So we go F, F, E, D, C, then up to our E, E, and then down to our C, C. And now when you play hands together, this is the easy part. You just have to kind of focus on this hand for this song. is that we all this song would sound very different if we did not use our flats and chops. Um, it would sound very not as sad and this is one thing that you can do to make it like kind of sad like instead of instead of like this sounds a little bit happier yeah <laughs> pretty much yeah Ba, 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 back up the bus.